Shalom. Many blessings to everyone. Thank you so much to be watching us. I am Santos from Grace of God Church. We are from Grace of God Church located uh, in Cape Town. We are in this beautiful continent, Africa continent. Grace of God Church, you can find Grace of God Church all over the world. We are spreading, we are moving forward. We are so blessed and excited, opening new branches all over the world to preach the gospel. That is the very beginning of the Bible instructions that I, wanna, I want to share with you today. Do you have your Bible? How about you? Have you got your Bible? Maybe you say, yes, man of God, I do. Yesterday, or let me say, yes, uh, the previous uh, talking, I began to talk about the three baptisms. Remember, do you still remember? I was saying there are three kinds of baptism. I don't want to shock you as I was saying yesterday. The baptism must happen after the repentance. The person must repent asking for forgiveness and so on, making a U-turn saying, I don't want to live that kind of life anymore and all those things. After the person must go to accept Jesus as their savior. After the first step is be baptized by the water. Second step is seek the baptism by the Holy Spirit. And thirdly, if you ask or not, prepare yourself. Or let me say, welcome to the kingdom of God. Yes, you are more than welcome to the kingdom of God because you will be passing through so difficult moment that we call that as the baptism by the fire or the fire baptism. I'm trying to build a relationship with our viewers to explain to them about all this. I want to be talking today from Matthew chapter 3 again. The Bible says that John Baptist, the John Baptist, he refused to baptize Jesus over the water. He was saying, no, who am I? I can. He was showing, uh, let me say that he was a humble man. But Jesus said, hey, come on, come on. You must baptize me. You must baptize me. Verse number 15, chapter 3, Matthew chapter 3, verse number 15 say, but Jesus said, Please do it, for I must do all that is right, Jesus was saying. So then John baptized Jesus. After his baptism, verse number 16 say, As soon as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens were open to him, and he saw the Spirit of God coming down in the form of a dove. Verse number 17 say, And a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, and I am wonderfully, oh beautiful, wonderfully pleased with him. So after the baptism, the Bible says that immediately Jesus was baptized by the Holy Spirit. I don't want to make you sad or disappointed. What I will say, I will try to open your eyes. And I ask the Holy Spirit to use my mouth 
in a such a way or my voice in a such a way that you will hear so clearly the voice of the Holy Spirit is speaking into your heart not my voice because normally I say I have got a hoarse voice my voice is not so good is not so lacquer lacquer is a kind of word that the uh, a local people in South Africa they 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 normally they use is the Africans people is the colored people they say lacquer when they say lacquer they are saying cool or great or wonderful uh, something like that I don't feel that my voice is lacquer normally I say I have got a horse voice like a horse but by God's mercy I believe you are understanding my explanation and I hope you are getting something here by this very humble lesson or teaching so it says that after the baptism by the water let me read again see what happened as soon as Jesus came out of the water the heavens were open to Jesus and he saw the Spirit of God coming down in form of a dove and a voice from heaven said this is my beloved son and I am wonderfully pleased with him the baptism by the Holy Spirit happened immediately why are you not baptized by the Holy Spirit yet what's wrong I'm not here to say that uh, I got baptized by the Holy Spirit uh, let me say as happened to Jesus no I will not lie I took a couple of months I'm not sure how many months but for sure I know wasn't the first moment I had to start to build my relationship with God learning how to speak how to walk how to move how to be acting as a Christian and I began to read the Bible uh, uh, to understand how to do and all those things but I understood that was so important to be baptized by the Holy Spirit após meu batismo nas, nas águas levaram-se alguns meses até que eu fosse batizado pelo Espírito Santo mas eu senti no meu coração um desejo tão grande de servir a Deus e eu comecei a ler a Bíblia eu comecei a desfolhar as páginas da Bíblia querendo aprender e eu entendi que era muito importante ser batizado com o Espírito Santo dias atrás eu estava pregando na igreja e eu falava para as pessoas que os discípulos de Jesus começaram a servir a Deus mas ainda não eram batizados no Espírito Santo ou pelo Espírito Santo até que aconteceu o ensinamento de Jesus que Jesus diz não vos ausenteis de Jerusalém até que do alto desça sobre vocês o Espírito e sejam batizados então é importante você examinar esqueça a questão do pecado porque nesse momento as pessoas querem, começam a querer achar pecado ah, eu sou pecador, o que, é que eu tenho feito é claro que você tem que fazer um, 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 um exame e ver o porquê que você ainda não foi batizado talvez você ainda não foi batizado no Espírito Santo pelo fato de você ter é, alguns motivos pessoais você quer ser batizado para quê? para ficar próximo dos outros falando em línguas? falando enrolado? falando estranho? não, o batismo do Espírito Santo ele vem sobre aquela determinada pessoa com como eu poderia dizer no português com um propósito definido por Deus você receberá o Espírito Santo 
para ser usado por Deus. Não é para falar em línguas e mostrar para as outras que você é. Mas tem uma, um determinado propósito que vem de Deus. E por isso, você deve buscar o batismo no Espírito Santo, que é muito importante. O Espírito Santo é aquele que vai te fortalecer. O Espírito Santo é aquele que vai te dar capacidade de dizer não ao erro, ao pecado. O Espírito Santo é aquele que vai te dar condições de se manter de pé quando as tentações vierem, quando é, é, aquele desejo de desistir. Quem é que nunca enfrentou um desejo de desistir, de dizer não para Deus e voltar a praticar as coisas do passado? Todas as pessoas, todos nós, já passamos e passaremos e continuaremos a passar por momentos difíceis ou aqueles momentos de tentações na vida. E é Ele, o Espírito Santo, que vai lhe fortalecer, lhe dando a condição de permanecer de pé na presença de Deus para servir a Deus até o último dia. So, the Bible teaches us. The baptism through the Holy Spirit, they are, it is so important. To be baptized in these three steps, water, uh, the Holy Spirit, and fire, they are so, so important in your life, in our spiritual life. So Jesus got baptized immediately. Let's pray. I want to pray now with you. I want to ask the Holy Spirit right now. If that is your sins, God is able to forgive your sins right now. If you say, that's not a sin, I am not a sinner, but looks like I have got no understanding about. Sometimes I go to church and I used to hear pastors say, open your mouth because the Lord God will fill up your mouth. And I used to be just with my mouth like that, open mouth, and nothing happens. And I will tell you, nothing will happen. There are some steps that you have to take. Otherwise, you will not be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Let me pray for you. Vamos orar. Se você crê, você será batizado pelo Espírito Santo agora, aí onde você está. Eu creio nisso. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray now with every each person. I pray now with, Lord, this large crowd right now. As you, Lord God, baptized your Son, your beloved Son Jesus, with your Holy Spirit. And I got baptized by the Holy Spirit as well. Lord, please, forgive their sins and open the floodgates of heaven and baptize now this boy, this girl, these people, whoever is watching me right now. Todos aqueles, meu Senhor, que estão acompanhando, meu Deus, esses minutos de conversa santa e sadia pelo Facebook or pelo YouTube. Meu Deus, batiza agora com teu espírito. Oh, batiza agora, meu Senhor, com teu Espírito. Batiza agora, meu irmão, minha irmã, aonde você está. Comece a orar, comece a falar com Deus aí onde você está. Porque Deus, Ele pode batizar você agora. É desejo do coração de Deus de entregar a você o batismo com o Espírito Santo, para que você seja usado por Deus. Oh, open your mouth right now and say, Lord, please forgive me, forgive my sins. Father, come right now to baptize me. I want to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. I want to receive right now the baptism, Lord, through your Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. You can start to say glory, 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 hallelujahs. Yes, say glory, 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 hallelujahs. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, wherever you are, receive now the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I am here in God's presence. I am ministering the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Yes, in Jesus' name. By faith, I am laying hands on you. And I say, receive now. Receive now the baptism. Yes, open your mouth. Don't fear. Don't fear. 
Oh, abra sua boca, receba agora o batismo com o Espírito Santo É como se eu estivesse colocando as minhas mãos sobre você Receba agora o batismo com o Espírito Santo Para ser usado por Deus, para ser uma bênção nas mãos do Senhor Oh, para ser uma bênção nas mãos de Deus Receba agora, em nome de Jesus Oh, Father, we say thank you so much Thank you, Lord, for your blessings Thank you, Lord, for your care upon us We say thank you. Lord, I bless the water and I declare whoever drinks now from this water, Lord, by faith will be healed, protected and blessed in Jesus' name. If you believe, you shall say amen. Drink now from this blessed water and receive your victory. Oh, thank you so much for your time, for your Uh, for your love to allow to be here with us to allow us to give me this permission to step in your house maybe through your computer or through your handset handset your phone I really I appreciate so every day night time you can watch Dr. Suarez I'm not Dr. Suarez Dr. Suarez is the founder of this ministry, Grace of God the Church. I am just one more pastor in this very large ministry, in this beautiful, beautiful ministry. I am so glad to be here in South Africa, to have this moment to share with you what I know so far, and to bless you. So every night, 8 p.m., the local time here in Africa, you can watch the faith show. We call our show as faith show. You will get the message. You will see people praising, worshiping God, singing. And I believe the message that Dr. Suarez normally brings is something so simple that everyone can understand. Keep you well. You are blessed. If you like, just give your like in this video, or you can share with one of your colleagues, one of your friends, and also you can subscribe here on our channel, on face on our sorry on our YouTube channel, and may God bless you. Shalom to everyone. Thank you so much. The next video, I will keep on talking about the baptism through the fire. Bye. Thank you so much.